Do you find it hard to find healthy snacks for your kids? What about healthy ice cream? I'm Adria Wu, and today, believe it or not, I'm gonna show you how to make healthy ice lollies. What I love about this recipe is that it's vegan, it's gluten-free, and there's no refined sugar. So it's great for kids because it's delicious, it's easy, and super healthy as well. So let's go. So let's take a look at what we're gonna be using to make our ice lollies. I have my blender here, which we're gonna blend all our ingredients together. Now you can put everything in together at once, which is really easy. Otherwise, we can do an ombre style. Doing an ombre style means that the colors are changing throughout the ice lolly as you kind of go up the lolly itself. So we'll start with a lighter color and it'll get kind of progressively darker and I'll show you how to do that. We also have our ice lolly makers. Now we're using metal ones because as natural chefs, we don't want to see any plastic in our kitchen if possible. Plastics are filled with nasty chemicals, things like BPA. So that's why I'm using the metal ones. With our ingredients, we have some wonderful organic ingredients. We have our coconut yogurt, 200 grams. We have some mixed fruits. I've chosen some berries and bananas, 150 grams. We have our walnut butter, 90 grams, and then some maple syrup. Now with the maple syrup, I usually recommend one to two teaspoons for this recipe. However, you might wanna use a little bit more to start off if you're not used to a less sweet lolly, and then over time you can reduce. With my kids, we've cut out the maple syrup entirely and they're used to having these lollies just with fruit, yogurt, and the nut butter. Now this recipe makes six to eight lollies, so let's get started. I'm going to start with my yogurt. Again, coconut yogurt is great. It's still full of probiotics. I'm gonna put a little bit of maple syrup in there, not all of it. That's about one teaspoon and then my bananas as well. I'm gonna give that a quick whirl. Okay. And for this kind of ombre effect, like I said, you could mix everything at once, but certainly with the ombre effect, we're gonna start off with the lighter one first and then progressively make it a bit darker. And you'll see I have a little bit of kitchen towel here just to give it a quick wipe after each time so it doesn't make a big mess. I'm gonna take my walnut butter, pop that in there. And again, I'm gonna add about half for now so it doesn't make my mixture too, too dark. And then I'm also gonna put in my nice bright raspberries. Great, we're gonna give that another quick whirl. Okay, so now I have my pink in there. I'm gonna add the rest of my walnut butter. Again, with the nut butters, you can kind of use any nut butter. You can use cashew butter, almond butter. These are all great options and also very healthy, packed with protein, good healthy fats, and then finally my blueberries. All right, great, and that's the last bit of our blending. We have this kind of deeper purple color, which is quite nice. And we just need to close off our lollies now. So these lollies are all ready to go into the freezer. I prepared some earlier, so let's see how those have turned out. But we'll put these in the freezer as well. So here we have our all natural ice lollies. These are a favorite in my household and I hope it becomes a favorite for you as well. Don't forget to hit subscribe for our upcoming healthy and delicious recipes. See you soon.